Bryce used to live right around here. And I remember the first time that I saw her entire face from a movie poster or a product ad or something on the side of that building. And I thought, okay, kid's doing all right. <laughs> what, what was that like for you? I was, it was fantastic, but nothing was better than seeing her in her first Broadway show, which was only her second professional job. And um, it was Tartuffe on Broadway. She was crying on stage opening night and Cheryl's looking kind of serenely just watching. And at, at intermission, I said, how come you weren't moved by that? That, I, that killed me. Mm -hmm. There she was literally crying on stage, Broadway, opening night. And she said, oh, that's nothing for her. She cried every day of her life when she was 17. Don't you remember? <laughs> Before uh, Bryce uh, started acting professionally, you guys have to go see her in a college play. Yeah, within, I don't know, seven or eight minutes into the show, nobody had any clothes on. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, how, it was how, experimental how you... theater. It was experimental theater. And I was sitting next to my dad, and I wasn't sure what he would think. And when it was over, he, he turned to me and he said, I think that's just great. That's what college is all about. She's never going to be afraid on stage again. And, you know, that's just, you know, the way he viewed things. So he was proud of her, proud of her, of her courage um, as an artist. Any consideration to just not going? To that performance no, on your guys in? No, okay. First of all, I knew there was nudity. I didn't realize it was it was full body nonstop. <laughs> it was a complete assault on uh, on a, 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 a father's psyche. It was quality. I mean, it was, but it was bold. Right. Just a, Why uh, not let your kids act professionally till 18? We just didn't have the capacity to supervise it properly. Whereas my mom and dad were willing to do it and could do it given their careers, I could not. And Cheryl, you know, was mother to four and also writing herself. And without that kind of supervision, um, both of us were completely opposed. I mean, Bryce liked being on set so much that your guys' way to ground her was... <laughs> Say you can't go to set. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, man, you got to find the leverage wherever you can when you're a parent sometimes. But she was passionate, passionate, and loved it. Really loved it. She was, she was a PA along with Colin Hanks, who's a couple of years older, uh, on Apollo 13, and was legitimately, you know, like filling lunch orders. And they gave her a walkie-talkie, and she was like working like a PA. Um, they both were. And I remember one time the, um, the, the actor playing Tom, Tom's son in Apollo 13, uh, our day was going long, and due to child welfare laws, um, we had to let him go home, and Tom's close-up was still remaining. I asked Tom if he'd, would he rather have the script supervisor read his lo the off-camera lines, or would he like Bryce to do it? And he said, uh, well, Bryce is closer to the right age, have Bryce do it. And so Bryce quickly learned the lines and did the off-camera for Tom. And that was the first time, she was probably 13, that's the first time I said, oh, she could go pro now. I mean, she was great. You know, I just saw that she could do it. What was that realization like for you? Great. I'm, I'm proud, uh, proud of her, but a little terrified um, because the business is so much tougher for women than it is for men. And I, I dreaded the fact that she was going to have the talent to really be able to make a run at it.